are just nine nights away from our trip to Philadelphia at the King of the Ring. And tonight, the quarterfinals of that said tournament continue when Austin Theory goes one-on-one -on -one with the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. And coming up in your main event, in another quarterfinal matchup, it is the Apex Predator Randy Orton, one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal one AJ Styles. These two men got history dating back to earlier this year. That history continues in the King of the Ring tournament later tonight here on SmackDown. We are live from Providence, Rhode Island. It is a high stakes matchup to kick this thing off just nine nights before our trip to Philadelphia in the Wells Fargo Center for the live premiere event, the King of the Ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin B. The former WWE Champion, the 25-year-old superstar, looking to make his way to Philadelphia in the semifinals of the King of the Ring Tournament. Austin Theory, one of four SmackDown superstars to qualify for the quarterfinals. Theory defeating Mustafa Ali, Ziggler defeating Braun Breaker, Randy Orton with a win over Ricochet, and AJ Styles with a win over Johnny Gargano. Of course, we found out this past Monday night on Raw that the Raw semifinal is set for Philadelphia. Seth freaking Rollins takes on the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. But who will be competing on the SmackDown side of things and possibly fighting Rollins or Nakamura in the finals of the King of the Ring tournament? And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds. The show off Dolph Ziggler, what a bounce back win last week after some recent bad luck. Ziggler went one on one with the blue chipper, the blue brand, Ron Breaker. And after these two men have really had a series of matches over the last couple of weeks, Dolph Ziggler was able to outlast Breaker. Now ultimately steal the victory, taking the rug out from underneath Breaker's feet and was able to walk away with a first class ticket to tonight. Nonetheless, Ziggler's got to remain focused. The former world champion, a veteran of the ring, certainly with the veteran experience over Austin Theory. As we mentioned, some recent bad luck. If you look back at the last couple of months, Ziggler had an opportunity to become the world champion. Unfortunately, came up short. Ziggler came up short in the United States Championship Eliminator back in March. And now for Dolph Ziggler, he finds himself in an opportune state yet again here on SmackDown. After that win against Braun Breaker last week, Ziggler not looking to let this opportunity slip through his fingers. Well, Ziggler throwing some haymakers on Austin Theory right now, taking the legs out from under him. Should be very interesting to see how Dolph Ziggler's conditioning is in this matchup. After that physical matchup with Breaker seven nights ago, as for Austin Theory, and later tonight, Randy Orton, both of those men having an extra week of rest as their first round matches took place two weeks ago here on SmackDown. Nonetheless, the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament taking place here tonight on the Blue Brand, just nine nights before the King of the Ring live premiere event. Sunday night, June the 18th, 5 p.m. Eastern time in Philadelphia for the King of the Ring. Of course, that event will be part of the biggest week in Universe Mode history that kicks off this coming Monday night on Raw with another live premiere Monday Night Raw homecoming from Madison Square Garden in New York City. And Dolph Ziggler... We're not in the Big Apple tonight, but Dolph Ziggler certainly going big or going home. A drop kick off the top rope to the outside. This match has been all the show off so far. Austin Theory with no answer to Dolph Ziggler's onslaught. And as this offense continues, as we were mentioning, the biggest week in Universe Mode history it kicks off Monday night. And then it follows up next Friday night on SmackDown. Another live premiere, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We are heading to the Capital One Arena, Washington, D.C. for Super SmackDown. Of course, that will feature the United States Championship on the line as Imperium's Guther defends against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Ziggler almost had Austin Theory, and Austin Theory able to kick out, but... Dolph Ziggler is all over the man from A-Town. There's a, finally a counter by Theory. He's got to get back into this as this has been all show off so far. A nice corkscrew by Austin Theory into the cover. Ziggler popping the shoulder up. As we mentioned, Seth Rollins, he defeated Cedric Alexander. 
and Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Tyler Bate this past Monday Night on Raw and Raw side of the quarterfinals. Those two men will meet in the semifinals on Sunday night, June the 18th, but who will be participating on the SmackDown side of the bracket? We will have an answer at the end of this evening. Austin Theory, Dolph Ziggler, one of these men is on their way to Philadelphia, but who is it gonna be? Right now, Theory was all Dolph Ziggler's first few minutes. Now Austin Theory has shifted the tides in this matchup. Ziggler a little dazed on the outside. This is, I would say, a rookie mistake out of Austin Theory, and you know, we really don't like to rag on Austin Theory for being the young gun. He's a former WWE champion. I'll bite only held that championship for just over a month. Nonetheless, Austin Theory taking his eye off the ball, and Dolph Ziggler gonna capitalize here. And the show off, looking for the kill. Olympic slam. Great move by the former amateur wrestler in this show off, Dolph Ziggler. Still to come tonight in your main event. This is the other quarterfinal matchup. The phenomenal AJ Styles. One on one with SmackDown's newest acquisition, the Viper Randy Orton. And meanwhile, Dolph Ziggler is tuning up the band. Here comes the super kick, nobody home. Great counter, oh wait a minute, Austin Theory. Small package on Ziggler to steal the victory, but Dolph Ziggler's able to survive. Great sidestep by Theory, small package. Not enough to keep Ziggler down. Ziggler could we go for the zigzag there. It looks like it. Theory was able to avoid it and takes him off his feet with the lariat. And here we go. This match is starting to kick into a new gear. Back and forth, reversal for reversal. Theory whipping Ziggler into the corner. Opportune state as Austin Theory takes him down again. Of course, don't miss the channel member exclusive WWE live event that will be taking place next Saturday night on the eve of King of the Ring from Hammerstein Ballroom, Manhattan, New York. Promises to be our biggest live event yet, and the only way to see us become a channel member right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Hit that join button down below, do not miss out. Jamal Austin Theory stacking up Dolph Ziggler, dropping him on the knee. That brain buster may be all she wrote for Dolph Ziggler's hopes and dreams, but Ziggler able to get the shoulder up again. Austin Theory defeated one half of the World Tag Team Champions in Mustafa Ali to qualify for this quarterfinal. Dolph Ziggler surviving Braun Breaker in such a physical contest just seven nights ago. And as we mentioned, only Dolph Ziggler knows the condition of himself coming into this matchup after that contest with Breaker last week, but Dolph, Dolph Ziggler is not gonna give up until he hears a bell. Austin Theory knows that. Theory trying to get it. Back into this matchup, looking Ziggler into the corner. It's a great contest between a veteran and the 25-year-old Austin Theory. And look at this, buckle bomb to Dolph Ziggler in the corner. And Theory not gonna go for the cover. Gonna inflict more punishment on Ziggler off that buckle bomb where Dolph's spine has gotta be screaming for mercy right now. Austin Theory looking to pick apart his opponent tonight and punch his ticket to Philadelphia. And he may have done just that. Will that do it? Ziggler survives again. Great contest to kick things off tonight on SmackDown. Just seven nights before Super SmackDown Live, 5 p.m. Eastern time next Friday night in Washington, D.C. We're gonna have more news on next week's Super SmackDown coming later tonight, so stay tuned, everybody. Come on, Austin Theory. Coming up behind Dolph Ziggler, throwing a couple overhand shots. Meanwhile, Ziggler, there's a reversal there out of the show off. Nice takedown, simple but effective way to get Austin Theory off his feet. Ziggler tapping into that amateur wrestling background there and not going after Austin Theory. Think Ziggler's gonna play it smart here, take the moment of breath, as we are starting to get in later rounds in this contest. You see both men suck and win a little bit. Austin Theory moving slow. Back inside the squared circle, Ziggler on his tail. Oh, wait a minute, look at this, Dolph grabbing Theory, looking for the sleeper hold here, and if Austin Theory taps out, hell, if Austin Theory passes out, Ziggler is gonna be on his way to King of the Ring. Ziggler's got it locked in tight. Oh, wait a minute, Theory, trying to break the hold. And there he does. Dolph Ziggler not able to put Austin Theory away with that sleeper hold and a pump kick by the 25-year-old superstar who has now got Ziggler up for an A-Town down. 
And I got a feeling that Austin Theory, wait a minute, never mind. Austin Theory, I thought he was going to be going to the semis, but Dolph Ziggler has still got intestinal fortitude inside of that heart. Dolph Ziggler survives. Austin Theory was able to break out of the sleeper hold, then grab Ziggler for the eight town down, but Dolph Ziggler is still swinging for the fences in this matchup. Nice neck breaker, and Austin Theory has got his eyes locked on Ziggler. And the young man's looking for the kill. A second A town down. Into the cover. And Austin Theory is going to the semifinals. A resilient effort by the show-off Dolph Ziggler tonight. But in the end, Austin Theory has punched his ticket to Philadelphia next Sunday night and will be one half of the SmackDown semifinals in the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. Gotta give credit to Dolph Ziggler. He survived the first A-Town down, but two was just too many for the show-off to handle. And there you see the updated bracket as Dolph Ziggler fades away. Austin Theory is on his way to Philadelphia, but who is gonna meet him there? We find out in tonight's main event as the Apex Predator Randy Orton meets the phenomenal AJ Styles in your second of two quarter final bouts. We're back live in Providence, Rhode Island and the always exciting Wes Lee set for a one-on-one -on -one action. We are just a few days away from the biggest week in Universe Mode history kicking off Monday Night Raw Homecoming this coming week. Super Smackdown seven nights from tonight. Of course, the channel member exclusive live event on Saturday, June the 17th. And then we're heading to Philadelphia for the big live premiere of King of the Ring. Cannot wait to get to the biggest week in our history thus far. Three live premieres all kicking off at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And then again, hit the join button down below, become a No Nation Gaming channel member, a premium pass holder, and you will not miss out on the Hammerstein Ballroom live event just seven nights from tomorrow. We are set for a SmackDown rematch here tonight in Providence between a heavyweight and a cruiserweight. And his opponent, from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giant Omas! The Nigerian Giant Omas has really started to find his footing here on Friday Night Smackdown ever since getting drafted back in March. This is a man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar back at WrestleMania and unfortunately fell to Lesnar. And Omos is starting to find some good luck again here on Friday Night SmackDown. This is obviously going to be a tough battle for Wes Lee, a member of the Cruiserweight division. We have seen Wes Lee, however, be impressive in recent history. He has teamed up with AJ Styles and battles against Imperium. Hell, Wes Lee took Gunther to the limit for the United States Championship on a channel member exclusive live event back in April. So let's see if Wes Lee can give the Nigerian giant Omas a run for his money tonight in Providence, Rhode Island on Friday Night SmackDown. The way we kicked off SmackDown moments ago, Austin Theory defeating Dolph Ziggler. He is on his way to the semifinals in the King of the Ring tournament next Sunday night in Philadelphia. Who will meet him there? We will find out in your main event between Randy Orton and AJ Styles. Right now, Omas hanging up Wes Lee on the top rope. Wesley has got a bright future ahead of him in WWE, but I think Omos is looking to take some years off his career tonight. If Wesley can somehow stick and move and take the big man off his feet. He's going to have a shot in hell at walking away with a victory tonight. But did you see the height off the back body drop? Wesley soaring through the skies off that maneuver and tried to roll to the outside to catch a breather. However, Omos, oh, wait a minute, goes after him there, but Wesley able to land on his feet. Running back in the ring, smart for the young man to try to get away from them. Omos in a nice shot. As we mentioned, stick and move, and Wesley off the Bulldog takes the Nigerian Giant off his feet. Back to the second row, but oh man, Omos having none of it. Kicking the legs out from under him. Nigerian Giant did not come to play games tonight. 
manhandling Wes Lee right now, a former NXT North American Champion, a former NXT Tag Team Champion, a man who has competed for gold here on SmackDown in the past, and Omos doesn't give a damn who you are. Working over Wes Lee with these back body drops. Right on the knee and into the cover. Maybe all she wrote here and Wes Lee able to survive, but may just be de delaying the inevitable right now. Or well, remains to be seen, don't want to count out Wes Lee. Got a lot of heart, a lot of soul, and a bright future. A hell of a win for Wes Lee tonight over a mosque. Could certainly do wonders for the young man here on SmackDown. All well, remains to be seen, but meanwhile, Omos! Choke slam! And you see how he went down with it to deliver a little bit of an added impact. And that'll do it. Omos making short work of Wesley tonight here in Providence. Thanks for coming, Wesley. You gave it a hell of a fight. You'll live to fight another day. But the Nigerian giant was out to make a statement, and boy, did he ever in victory tonight on SmackDown. Here is your winner, the Nigerian giant, Omos. The SmackDown locker room better stay clear because the Nigerian giant Omos is laser focused on creating his own opportunities here on Friday Night SmackDown. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. Well, the action continues tonight on SmackDown as the OC's Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows meet Massey and Mansoir. Maximum male models inside of the ring, plus Braun Breaker. Looking to bounce back after his King of the Ring first round knockout. So he goes one on one with Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. And the results of those contests to the OC getting their hand raised in tag team victory. They're looking sharp since their return a few weeks ago. And as for Braun Breaker, big time victory over Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze and a bounce back win tonight. What's going to be next for Breaker here on SmackDown? And ladies and gentlemen, coming up in just seven nights, it is Super SmackDown, live from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And what a card we have lined up for you in your main event next week. The United States Championship is on the line. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, one-on-one -on -one with Imperium's Gunta for the first time ever, a prestigious matchup for the U.S. gold in our nation's capital. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Mustafa Ali, goes one-on-one -on -one with Alpha Academy's Chad Gable just 48 hours before Ricochet and Ali defend their gold against the Judgment Day at King of the Ring. Women's Division action set for next Friday night as well. Io Sky looking to build some momentum for herself against one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Raquel Rodriguez. Rey Mysterio has got a big time cruiserweight championship matchup with Santos Escobar in just nine nights. But next Friday night, he looks to warm up the muscles against Los Lotharios, Angel Garza. And Drew McIntyre and Edge will meet for the World Heavyweight Championship in Philadelphia. But next week, they will stand side by side in tag team action against the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Hall, and the glorious Robert Roode. All that coming your way live next Friday night. Well, next week, Mustafa Ali will be one-on-one -on -one with Chad Gable, but tonight, the other half of the World Tag Team Champions, the one, the only, Ricochet has got his hands full with the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. This is going to be a great contest coming your way live from Providence, Rhode Island on Friday Night SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Mustafa Ali from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, Ricochet! Well, SmackDown's Ricochet and Mustafa Ali, your current WWE World Tag Team Champions. 
They are set to defend the gold against the newly number one contenders. Monday Night Raw's Damian Priest and the Prince Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. There's going to be an interpromotional battle for the World Tag Team Gold and nine nights in Philadelphia at the King of the Ring. But tonight, Ricochet has got his hands full with one of his King of the Ring opponents and Finn Balor's former protege in the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. McDonough, been impressive on SmackDown recently, looking to make some more noise against the one and only. And his opponent, from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. Well, it was just a couple of weeks ago that J.D. McDonough went one-on-one -on -one with Akira Tozawa, and it was a short but exciting matchup, and in the end, the Irish ace walked away with the victory. JD starting to build some momentum for himself here on Friday Night SmackDown. Could easily be trying to line himself up for a future Cruiserweight Championship opportunity. We know that title will be defended at King of the Ring as well as Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar look to write the final chapter in their storied rivalry in WWE's first ever Extreme Lucha Rules match. Very simple rules. Two out of three falls, falls count anywhere, anything goes between Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio in the land of extreme, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. No matter who walks away at King of the Ring, the Cruiserweight Champion, we very well could be looking at a future number one contender in J.D. McDonough. Former Cruiserweight Champion in his own right. And J.D. McDonough has had some recent run-ins with Ali and Ricochet. He was teaming up with Drew Gulak not too long ago to challenge Ricochet and Ali for their World Tag Team Championships. It obviously did not go McDonough and Gulak's way. But let's see if this one-on-one -on -one match with Ricochet tonight where he can change the luck. Ricochet, look at this, right out of the gate, trying to steal the victory over J.D. McDonough. Save the energy for nine nights from tonight. J.D., we know, is going to give Ricochet one hell of a fight inside the squared circle. As we mentioned, coming your way seven nights from tonight, the other half of the World Tag Team Champions, the man standing in the one and only's corner, Mustafa Ali, except for a one-on-one -on -one battle with Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Should be a great contest just 48 hours before the World Tag Team titles are on the line at King of the Ring. Ricochet, hot out of the gate. He is flipping all over this ring. A springboard moonsault, and the Iris Ace is left on his back, at least for a moment. Jordan Devlin's got all the tools to be successful from bell to bell. He's just got to continue to get the victories. Oh, man, and maneuvers like that can certainly aid JD in doing so. Only a one count there, but McDonough keeps the foot on the gas pedal. He may be nearing victory tonight. What a win it could do for JD McDonough. He could very well be inter interested in whether team, whether team up with Drew Gulak again or finding himself a new tag team partner, challenging Ricochet and Ali for the tag team gold or... Well, whoever walks away with King of the Ring as the Tag Team Champions could very well be Monday Night Rawls, Damian Priest, and Finn Balor. All remains to be seen. J.D. McDonough, Springboard Tornado DDT a few moments ago, and now fouls it up with a moonsault. These two cruiserweights leaving it all inside the squared circle right now. J.D. went for the headbutt. Nobody home there, but delivers that German suplex to perfection. Great contest so far, we're only about a minute and change into this thing, maybe two minutes. Ricochet now goes behind, tilt to whirl, head scissors by the human highlight reel of Friday nights. As Ricochet and JD McDonough continue this matchup, what about the lineup we got coming your way? Seven nights from tonight, Washington DC will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for Super Smackdown. Of course, the United States Championship will be on the line in your nation's capital, Imperium's Gunther, who has been undefeated since joining SmackDown back in November, goes one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Also coming your way next week, the two men who will battle it out for the World Heavyweight Championship at King of the Ring, the champion Drew McIntyre, the challenger Edge. Those two men will stand side by side in a tag team bout against Jinder Mahal and a man who has been a thorn in the side of both Edge and McIntyre for weeks here on SmackDown, Robert Roode. And look at that maneuver by Ricochet. Great matchup between these two cruiserweights. Another one that should be another great cruiserweight contest next Friday night. Rey Mysterio, the number one contender for the cruiserweight championship. The one-on-one -on -one with Los Lotharios, Angel Garza. 
What about the women's division matchup sign for next Friday? One half of the women's tag team champions with Kel Rodriguez with Aaliyah standing in her corner. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with Io Sky. Those two women, no strangers to each other. Two former NXT women's champions set to lock horns in the middle of that ring next Friday night. Oh man, what a boot scrape by McDonough. JD has been impressive for weeks here on SmackDown. Looking to continue those winning ways tonight. Ricochet on his back right now, and JD going for the elbow drop. Didn't get all of it there, but got enough to at least keep Ricochet down. McDonough is looking good. May not like his smug attitude, but at the end of the day, he has got the tools to be a winner inside the squared circle, and at the end of the day, it's really all that matters. Ricochet not looking to take a loss so close where him and Ali defend the World Tag Team Championships against Monday Night Raw's Damian Priest and Finn Balor. And those two men have been damn near unstoppable since aligning forces a few months ago. Of course, earning their Tag Team Championship opportunity with a win over Butch and Ridge Hall and the Brawling Brutes. We have seen Priest and Balor defeat the Street Profits in recent history as well. They're going to be a tough battle for Ricochet and Ali in Philadelphia nine nights from tonight. Come on, McDonough. Interrupted in his own affairs. Nice suplexes. Ricochet is struggling to get back into this matchup. Going for the headbutt. Hits it. Saido. That is the combination that kept down Akira Tozawa a few weeks ago. But Ricochet still got heart and still got blood pumping through his soul. Awesome combination by the Irish Ace, but not enough to keep the human highlight reel down. Ricochet knows what's at stake tonight. Momentum, simply momentum in the lead up to his tag team championship matchup at King of the Ring. Same thing goes for Mustafa Ali next Friday night on SmackDown when he meets Chad Gable. Meanwhile, Ricochet, spring, spring, and a moonsault there. A classic out of the arsenal of the one and only. Into the cover, not just yet, as McDonough pops the shoulder off the canvas. Only a one count there. Ricochet just starting to get back into this matchup after JD was really controlling for a few moments. Nice drop kick in the corner. And half of the world tag team champions fighting from underneath right now in my eyes. A nice drop kick takes down McDonough again. Very interesting to see who is walking away the victor tonight. A lot riding on the line in this matchup. Momentum for Ricochet. Possible opportunities in the future for JD McDonough. Neither man wants to Hear their shoulders counted to the canvas for a three count. Both of them want to see their hand raised to the sky. McDonough was trying to go on the split ricochet in half there. Ricochet had something else in mind. And the shooting star press on the canvas. Nobody does the high flying offense like Ricochet. And there's the recall knee. Will that do it? Oh, and McDonough kicks out. JD McDonough pops the shoulder off the canvas. A close call. These two men tearing down the house here in Providence, Rhode Island. Meanwhile, Ricochet, moonsault, picture perfect. No flash photography, please. But somehow the Irish Ace is still fighting. Gotta give credit where it's due. J.D. McDonough sees an opportunity tonight, and he is looking to make the most of it. Oh, man! Using Ricochet's own recall knee against him to knock out one half of the tag team champions, but Ricochet knows that move very well and knows how to absorb it. Good effort there by J.D. McDonough, but ultimately not enough. Now grabbing the hand of Ricochet. And we're to go for the one and only, and he likes to take things to the knee. He's trying to escape the grass of the Irish Ace, who's trying to pull an ace out of the hole tonight. Hard hitting shot. STO and Ricochet eats the canvas hard. J.D. McDonough, he's got to capitalize while Ricochet's down. You saw the kip up there. Here comes the Irish Ace again. Drops down, goes up. Arm drag there. That was deep, taking Ricochet off his feet. And able to capitalize off the drop kick. Here goes Ricochet with a springboard moonsault. We said it earlier, we'll say it again. Nobody takes it to the air like the one and only, the man who held the Cruiserweight Championship from June to January 1st of this year. 
Ricochet and Ali have held the tag team title since WrestleMania Sunday. The 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners as well have been on top for months. And Ricochet not looking to see that momentum just brushed under the rug by the hands of J.D. McDonough tonight. J.D. is dazed and confused on the outside. And Ricochet, nice baseball slide there to create a little distance and the corkscrew, but nobody home. Sometimes going to the sky is putting all your eggs in the wrong basket. Now Ricochet found that out firsthand. We'll call it high risk, high reward for nothing. And simply in a snap of the fingers, McDonough is back in control, who now heads to the top rope, goes for the elbow, and this time it's nobody home for the Irish ace. Oh, and a snap German. The adrenaline pumping through these guys tonight. Well, back and forth we start to go between J.D. McDonough and one half of your world tag team champions, Ricochet. McDonough's days, second recall knee. And that may be it. J.D. McDonough, the lights are on, but nobody's home. And that's going to be a victory for the one and only. Extremely physical contest. Great effort by both men. Like J.D. McDonough's attitude or not, he brought it to the dance tonight, but Ricochet was simply the better man. Here is your winner, Ricochet! Ricochet picking up a big-time victory. Will Mustafa Ali's matchup next week on Super SmackDown be the same result? But nonetheless, coming up in nine nights at the King of the Ring, the World Tag Team titles are on the line as Ali and Ricochet defend against the Judgment Day's Priest and Balor. That is not the only interpromotional matchup signed for King of the Ring as the WWE Women's Championship is on the line. Raw's Liv Morgan defends the gold against SmackDown's number one contender, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Cruiserweight Championship set to be defended. Santos Escobar, Rey Mysterio looking to write the final chapter in their storied rivalry in WWE's first ever Extreme Lucha Rules matchup. Monday Night Raw has got a massive main event sign. A lot of bad blood between Kevin Owens and Matt Riddle for the WWE Championship. And will Sami Zayn be in the corner of Kevin Owens? We'll find out live this Monday at Raw Homecoming in MSG. On the SmackDown side, the World Heavyweight title is on the line. Edge wants one more run in the sun, but Drew McIntyre not looking to be a stepping stone for the Rated R Superstar. McIntyre and Edge lock horns for the big gold belt. And the King of the Ring tournament continues. It is the semifinals on behalf of Monday Night Raw. Seth freaking Rollins goes one-on-one -on -one with the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. We know Austin Theory will represent SmackDown, and we will find out in moments who his opponent will be. Of course, the finals take place at King of the Ring as well. We will have a winner in Philadelphia. It is the biggest week in Universe Mode history. It all kicks off this Monday night, then follows up next Friday night on SmackDown. Channel member exclusive live event in Hammerstein Ballroom in Philadelphia on the Sunday night for King of the Ring. Earlier tonight, Austin Theory punched his ticket to Philadelphia. But who is going to be standing on the opposite side of the ring? We will find out right here as it is main event time from Providence, Rhode Island on Friday Night SmackDown. It is your second of two quarterfinal matches in the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles has been very active as of late here on SmackDown. You got to wonder if that's going to play into the condition of the phenomenal one. Last week was his first round battle against Johnny Gargano, and boy, what a contest it was. You got to go watch the replay to believe it. The whole shebang and the phenomenal one really left everything and the kitchen sink inside of the squared circle. And what about two weeks ago here on SmackDown, the return of Gallows and Anderson alongside AJ Styles, the OC with the big six-man tag team victory over Imperium. Some very physical matches for AJ Styles. You got to wonder how he's going to fare tonight against a very dangerous, cold and calculated 
apex predator in Randy Orton. These two men with a lot of history dating back to earlier this year. We're going to talk all about it in moments as the Viper makes his way to the ring. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. It was on January the 1st of this year at the Royal Rumble where Randy Orton was WWE Champion and both of these men were members of the Monday Night Raw roster. AJ Styles looked to take down Randy Orton on that night in Toronto. However, the Viper was the better man. He caught AJ Styles with the RKO and on that night successfully defended his WWE Championship. Fast forward to tonight, all these months later, both now part of Friday Night SmackDown and both find themselves one-on-one -on -one yet again in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring. You gotta wonder if AJ Styles' memory is looming on that night in Toronto this past January at the Royal Rumble. He knows the last time he went one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton, he was not victorious. Is that playing into the mindset? Is that playing into the game plan of the phenomenal one here tonight? All remains to be seen, but this man, Randy Orton, who arrived on Friday Night SmackDown after being banished from Monday Night Raw in a Hell in a Cell match back in April a couple of weeks ago, defeated Ricochet in grueling fashion. That punt kick to the head of the World Tag Team Champion delivered Randy Orton a ticket to the quarterfinals. Randy Orton just arriving back on the blue brand two weeks ago. He is not looking to take a loss already upon his SmackDown return. But only one man can meet Austin Theory in Philadelphia in the semifinals, and we're going to find out who that's going to be as Styles meets Orton in your main event right here, right now. Two all-stars of the WWE clashing before our very eyes. Randy Orton, look at this, taking the fight to AJ Styles early, throwing the closed fist. Got to wonder if Orton is thinking the same thing we discussing, knowing AJ Styles' recent track record inside of the ring, how physical AJ Styles' matches have been. Again, just standing back to last week in that battle against Johnny Gargano, you got to wonder if Orton's looking to prey on some possible injuries and fatigue of the phenomenal one. If anyone were to do it, it's the Viper. Viper willing to strike at any means necessary. AJ Styles, we know one thing about the phenomenal one, it has never count out. AJ. AJ is a former WWE champion, held that championship just last year at this time. Styles looking to make his way back to a world championship picture. Remember what is on the line in the, in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament. Not only will the winner of the tournament wear the crown of the king, but they will punch their ticket this August at SummerSlam for a world championship matchup Depending on the brand, if you're a Monday Night Raw superstar, you will battle the WWE Champion. If you're a Friday Night SmackDown superstar, you will battle the World Heavyweight Champion. A whole lot riding on the line in each and every matchup over the last couple of weeks. And AJ Styles and Randy Orton want that opportunity more than anything. Two men who have been at the top of the mountain before and want to do it again. AJ with this crossface locked in on Randy Orton. We saw him apply it against Gargano last week. Didn't necessarily get him the victory, but certainly aided him in the progression of the matchup. Meanwhile, Orton off the schoolboy trying to steal the victory from Styles, not just yet. See, these men really throwing everything they got so far, but also taking their time at the same time. Neither one of these men rushing to try to hit the RKO or the Styles clash, the phenomenal forearm. They know each other well. They have done this dance before. They know it is not going to be an easy victory tonight. Either way, you spin it. AJ off the DDT. Will that do it? I think these men even know that these early pinfalls are not necessarily going to get you the victory, but A, it's going to require your opponent to expend some energy and kick it out. And it's also going to play into the mindset of your opponent as you continue to get near falls. Randy Orton off that signature scoop slam and only a one count there. Andy Orton, second match back on SmackDown, as we mentioned. They're dominating Monday Night Raw for the better part of the year. He was banished from the red brand back at Backlash in April by his former best friend, Matt Riddle, and those two men met inside Hell in the Cell. So loser leaves Raw matchup, and Randy Orton had disappeared for weeks, but re-emerged two weeks ago here on SmackDown, taking the final spot in the King of the Ring tournament. And again, punt kicked his way to the quarterfinals here tonight. 
Randy Orton only a second match back on SmackDown. He is certainly not looking to come up in defeat. But if any man, oh man, what a spill for AJ at ringside. I was about to say AJ Styles might have a little bit more momentum coming into this matchup. Two recent victories to one compared to Orton, but those recent matchups may just be playing in to AJ Styles' wherewithal tonight. Talked about it with Austin Theory at the top of the show. And to say it again, I mean, Randy Orton had two weeks rest opposed to AJ Styles, who's been in back-to-back -back matches here on Friday Night SmackDown. He just gets sent over a barricade into the concrete. There's no doubt that AJ Styles is coming into this match fatigued, and Randy Orton definitely at least closer to 100% compared to his opponent tonight. At the end of the day, though, we can speculate all we want, but as we mentioned, he can never count out the phenomenal AJ Styles. This is a man who had one of the most impressive debut years in WWE history. You put him up there with Brock Lesnar. You put him up there with Kurt Angle. AJ Styles was WWE champion within nine months of his WWE debut. I mean, that speaks volumes even all these years later. Randy Orton celebrating his 21st year here in WWE. What an accomplishment it would be for the Viper to win his first King of the Ring tournament and challenge for the World Heavyweight title at SummerSlam. But that neck breaker almost had AJ Styles, but Styles pops the shoulder up again. Start to creep into a second level in this matchup, if you will. You see Randy Orton going for the kill a little bit stronger, hitting that signature neck breaker that has put away opponents in the past. And now what has Randy Orton got in mind? Oh no, on the apron, dropping AJ Styles on the hardest part of the ring. And that is where Orton's game plan plays into AJ Styles' recent matchups here on SmackDown. AJ, or I should say Randy Orton, knows the fatigue of Styles coming into this match and looking to pick apart his opponent limb by limb tonight. Oh, and there's a sense of urgency shot out of AJ. Nice counter and Insiguri by the Phenomenal One. And there's a simple yet effective DDT. Styles may have to keep it simple in this matchup. He may not have the strength for a Styles Clash or a Phenomenal Forearm. But at least try to. Nice snap suplex there. Taking down Orton. And now Styles heading to the top. What has the Phenomenal One got in mind? Frog Splash! Dead center of the canvas. Into the pinfall there, and Randy Orton survives, but big time come up by AJ Styles off the Frog Splash. Styles heading to the apron there. Could have been looking for the Phenomenal Forearm. Realized Orton was a little far out, and Smart for AJ not to risk it all there, as that could have been disastrous for the Phenomenal One. Another counter by the Apex Predator, and oh no, Randy Orton ragged on his opponent, and Orton's got AJ in a very dangerous situation. DDT off the middle rope. The Viper as cold and calculated as they come. Into the cover to secure his spot. In the semifinals, not just yet as AJ Styles gets the shoulder up. Who is going to fight? The all-day Austin Theory in Philadelphia. Oh, wait a minute. Styles, beautiful neck breaker out of nowhere. And Randy Orton may be done for it. And a kick out by the Viper, but that was a great shot by AJ Styles. Grabbed Orton and struck. AJ going out to the apron again. You see, he does not want to risk that phenomenal forearm. Randy Orton getting to his feet, and AJ Styles just not looking to take things to the air unless he really feels that he has a sense of hitting it. He knows the disaster that could come from being in the air when Randy Orton's aware of it. An RKO out of, out of nowhere, or simply just crashing and burning on the canvas could spell the end for AJ Styles' hopes and dreams in the King of the Ring tournament. Meanwhile, Orton, look at this. Grab it, AJ Styles. And a DDT this time from the top rope. And I think that's going to do it. Oh, never mind. AJ Styles reaching out the wherewithal, the phenomenal one, knowing his surroundings inside of the ring, reaching out and grabbing those ropes. You see AJ Styles may be spent, rolling to the outside, trying to catch a breather, and Randy Orton not going to allow it. A Viper slithering like a snake that he is and looking to strike with his venom on AJ Styles tonight. Sending him right into the barricade and AJ Styles is absolutely tapped right now. I don't think there is any gas left in the tank of the Phenomenal One. Going through Randy Orton tonight, Johnny Gargano last week, Imperium two weeks ago. 
AJ Styles is dazed, he is fatigued, he is hurting, and Randy Orton is picking apart the lifeless body of AJ Styles at ringside right now. AJ is down and out, and Randy Orton could easily be looking for a count-out victory here. Hasn't been able to get AJ in position for an RKO. Hasn't been able to keep his shoulders down for a three count. And after a count of seven, I believe Orton may be nearing a count-out victory here. And AJ Styles up on his feet, rushing towards the ring with anything he's got left, and Randy Orton just meets it with a drop kick, dead center of the dome. AJ Styles may have survived, but may have just been delaying the inevitable. Couple of strikes out of the phenomenal one. Randy Orton trying to get his wherewithal. Orton in the corner, and Styles slow to capitalize here. Only so much left in AJ Styles to keep fighting, except the will to be the, be the King of the Ring winner, wear the crown, and become a future contender for the World Heavyweight title at SummerSlam. AJ Styles not even having the wherewithal to get Randy Orton away from the bottom ropes that time. And another counter by Orton, sending a lifeless AJ Styles right into the corner. And what has Orton got in mind this time? Oh no. Orton heading to the top rope. And AJ Styles, this could be the end of the Phenomenal One's hopes in the King of the Ring tournament. Superplex cover. Might be academic at this point, but Styles survives again. The Phenomenal One wants this more than the air he breathes. AJ Styles wants to stand across the ring from Austin Theory in Philadelphia, represent SmackDown in the semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament. Every time AJ kicks out, it's as if Randy Orton just gets more frustrated and fired up. And AJ Styles looking to capitalize off that frustration. And here comes the phenomenal one, Pele, and down goes Orton. What a matchup this is turning into in your main event tonight in Providence. Orton's down again, Styles up on the, oh, was trying to go for the apron. He could have been looking for the phenomenal forearm, but again, not trusting that Randy Orton was gonna be in position for it. But a minute, schoolboy out of Orton to steal the victory here, right out from under the nose of Styles, but Styles survives. AJ slow to get to his feet again, and Randy Orton takes him down with that lariat. Another one by Orton. Styles showing some signs of life, but almost in a snap of the fingers, Randy Orton takes the momentum right back on a silver platter. But there's AJ with another counter. Never count out the phenomenal one, who's got Orton in position for a Styles clash. AJ's going to King of the Ring out of nowhere with the Styles clash, but Randy Orton gets the shoulder up. How close was that? Randy Orton had been in control of this contest for the majority since the opening bell. And Styles saw an opportunity and knew he had to throw one of his best maneuvers in the arsenal. But unfortunately, the Styles clash, not enough to keep Orton down. Now Styles gonna resort to a submission hold here. He's got Randy Orton's legs all tied up, wrenching on the neck of the Viper. Styles looking to tap out Randy Orton and make his way to Philadelphia. Orton struggling here, he's near the middle of the ring right now, no ropes in sight. And Orton trying to break the hold of Styles, and unfortunately for AJ, he does. What a main event we have got on our hands. Quarterfinal matchup in the King of the Ring. And there you see AJ, no energy left inside of the body. He just gets sent right over the top rope. Randy Orton back in control. And oh, wait a minute here, wait just a second. Orton trying to take this thing to another level, clearing off the announce table, but turned his back on AJ Styles and it may have cost him. Randy Orton is frustrated that he has not been able to keep down AJ. Was looking to go for the kill, and AJ Styles, however, was able to capitalize on the turn back. Orton inside of the ring, Luth has press catching Styles off guard. This may very well come down to who just gets the final shot and lands it hard enough. AJ's dazed. Orton's starting to be fatigued. But who's got enough left in the tank to get the three count and fight Austin Theory nine nights from tonight at King of the Ring? 
Another shot by AJ. Oh, wait a minute. Styles. A second Styles clash. Dead center of the ring. Catching Orton off guard. AJ Styles is going to the semifinals. What a matchup. Showcasing what the King of the Ring Tournament is all about. The prestige of this whole thing and what is on the line throughout the last number of weeks. AJ Styles outlasting the Vipers onslaught and he has got a first class ticket to the land of extreme in Philadelphia. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Randy Orton's name fades away on the bracket and the semifinals are officially set. Representing SmackDown, Austin Theory, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. Seven nights from tonight, it is Super SmackDown Live, where Edge and Drew McIntyre, the King of the Ring matchup, team up to take on Jinder Mahal and the glorious Robert Roode. And what about next week's main event in the nation's capital for the United States Championship? The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, one-on-one -on -one with Imperium's Gunther for the first time ever with the prestigious U.S. gold on the line. We will be live next Friday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time, a part of the biggest week in Universe Mode history, 48 hours before our trip to Philadelphia at the King of the Ring. Thank you for joining us tonight on SmackDown. We will see you next week. Good night, everybody. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.